Welcome to Army Navy Trivia, brought to you by the good folks at the Paramount Veterans Network. The 123rd Army Navy game is on the horizon this coming Saturday. We have assembled outstanding teams, a team of Army veterans, a team of Navy veterans, and it's going to be a battle of knowledge and pride. Each round will pit Navy versus Army on a question. Whoever answers it correctly first wins and gets points for their team. Questions will be a mix, general military knowledge, and of course, some good old Army Navy football trivia. Now, round one, you get one point per correct answer. Round two is two points. The championship round, you can make up ground, five points. Now, the first one to hit me in the chat box will get called upon. If you get the question wrong, the opposing player from the other team will have a chance to answer and steal that point. So let's first go around. Let's get to know each of our Paramount Veterans Network contestants a little bit more. If you would, please tell us a little bit about yourself, about your military background, and what you focus on here at Paramount. We're going to get things going with Team Army, and we will start with Janesse Simpson. Welcome, if you'd be so kind. Let us know a bit about your service background and uh, what you do here. Hi, thanks, John. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm John S. Simpson. Um, I'm currently working with Paramount, Paramount Plus and the Veterans Immersion Network. I'm having a great time. Um, we just had a big summit where uh, I help as the co-host of the production team. It was a great experience meeting all the folks that, who contributed to that and just watching our veterans just gain all the insight and information needed to, to you know, move their career forward. Um, myself, I've been in the military for 23 years now. Uh, this is gonna be my last year, well, coming next year. And so I'll be continuing on my journey. Um, Betty says I can come work for her. Paramount doesn't keep me out permanently, but <laughs> no, but other than that, um, I'm excited to be here and thank you for having us. Well, thank you kindly. And I love these backgrounds, by the way. That might be its own battle. If it comes down to some kind of tiebreaker, there could be a judge's discretion there. Uh, up next, William Gaucher. Welcome. Tell us a bit about yourself. Hey, John. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm William Gaucher. I've uh, been in the Army for five years, just recently separated. And while I was in, I was a platoon leader and I worked in the S1 shop, which is human resources. Currently for um, Paramount Veterans Network, I am over on Nick Jr. as a brand creative intern, working mostly with Paw Patrol and Blue's Clues and you. It's been a fantastic experience and just out there to all the participants in this weekend's game, uh, you know, best of luck to you, but as always, go Army. Be on the lookout, Team Navy. You might get slimed at some point with that Nick Jr. background. Uh, and rounding out Team Army, William Kelso. Welcome. Tell us a bit about yourself. Thanks, John. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Will Kelso, and a proud Army vet. I served as a combat medic for eight years before finding my way here to the Paramount Veterans Network, uh, where I get to proudly work with fellow vets as a creative producer and editor, as well as host a lot of our functions online, such as meet and greets and other... Uh, events such as this. So uh, go Army, beat Navy. He's got the swag and he's also got the smack talk. Now it's time for Team Navy to get their time to shine. Let's kick it off with Kawanda Smith. How you doing, Kawanda? Hi, I'm so happy to be here. Go Navy. I started out with um, the Navy as a machinist mate doing um, sub marine repair and I did two tours. I was on the USS McKee and the USS Holland. Um, and for the um, Paramount, what I do, I work in human resources operations, um, information systems. And so just making sure that we handle all of the HRR processing for the full staff. And I'm happy to be here. We're going to win. <laughs> Delighted to have you. I love you right in the cockpit right there. Thank you so much for your service. Up next, Caesar Zanders. How are we doing today? I um, did my time in the Navy um, based out of San Diego, working on some of the nuclear submarines and operations division. A um, little bit of that. I only did one tour um, and then went on to what civilian life, but I regret it, which I could go back. Well, too old for that now, but um, I miss the structure of the military every day of corporate America. <laughs> um, here at Aramount, excuse me, I um, work in the HR operations department with Rwanda. Um, we're implementing all of the HR transformation everyone is seeing, and we are kept extremely busy. Um, it is literally a 24-hour day job. 
um, but I love it. And, you know, we're making things happen. I am proud to have been born in 1973, which coincidentally is the year of the greatest, greatest scoring um, disparity in the Army Navy games, where Navy beat Army by 51 to zero. So that was a flat out shutout by 51 points in 1973, my year. You know, good things happen. Um, so thank you, everyone. And of course, as history has proven, go Navy. We are getting trivia answers before we're even underway. Uh, we might have to rewrite a few of these questions in the second or third round. Rounding out Team Navy, the anchor, we welcome in Merrill Tengestal. Merrill, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Excellent. Uh, hopefully, when you do the questions today, you speak really slow. Sometimes the Army doesn't understand that too well. But my name is Merrill Tengestal. I'm a retired Air Force Colonel, but I spent 10 years in the Navy before going on to the Air Force. Uh, I was a pilot by trade, and in the Navy, I flew helicopters. I was an instructor in the T-34 as well as the T-6. So I'm also an ambassador for um, Paramount Veterans Network, and I, I do their bidding with a smile. And I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to support. And I'm going to be really happy when we kick Army's butt. <laughs> I can feel the pride and I love the fun you guys are having and it's time to get it going trivia style it is army versus navy it's going to be round one remember these are worth one point each matchup number one we will have Janess against Kawanda so be on the ready be ready to hit me in the chat box question number one what are the animal mascots of army and navy who are the animal mascots? Janess, what do you got? All right, I got, um, for the Navy, it's obviously a seahorse. And for the Army, it's, um, I wanna say it's a, it's, a, it's a tiger. Unfortunately, no. And that means Kawanda's got a chance to swipe this point. What do you got, Kawanda? I wanna say for the Army, it's a bison. I don't know why. Unfortunately oh, for wow. the for Army and Navy, when it comes to this football game, it's the mule for Army, the goat for Navy. The first uh, Navy goat was at the first Army-Navy game over 130 years ago. Mule. The mule debuted, debuted in 1899, pulling an ice wagon as an answer to the goat. So we're getting a feel for it. It's all right. Just one question <laughs> in. No points had yet. So Janessa and Kawanda, you're going at it again. Question number two, be on the ready. Hit me in the chat box if you okay. want to answer. When was the United States Armed Forces founded? A, 1775. B, 1776. C, Janessa is already in. What do you got? 1776, sorry. 1776, unfortunately, no. So we know it's not B, 1776. Oops. Kawanda, is it A, 1775, C, 1781, or D, 1855? Uh, I'm going to say 1775. That is correct with the creation okay. of the Continental Army, General George Washington. The first point has been had. All right, this closes out your head-to-head. -head. Last chance to get a point here in the initial round. Janess Kawanda, Tom Selleck from CBS's Blue Bloods served in the military. Which branch did Tom Selleck serve in? Janess, what you got? Sir, he obviously served in the Army, of course. That is correct. He was in the California <laughs> Army. We all knew how that was going to go. Mr. Baseball, <laughs> also an Army man. OK. Well, thank you so much. So we got a point aside out of that initial matchup. We move on to matchup number two. This will pit William G against Caesar. Be on the ready. Be ready to hit me in chat box when you're ready to answer. You got Question this, number one. The Air Force was designated as its own branch in 1947. But before then, the Air Force was part of what military branch? Caesar. Army. Army, that is correct. 
You gotta respond with ready, not the answer. <laughs> oh no, that's how that's how I'm responding to all of those. When I'm ready, it's just armor. It's oh, okay. <laughs> You're going to the chat box with the answer itself, but whoever's in there first, whoever I see first, they get the chance. Question number two: When was the first Army Navy game played? Is it 1890, 1900, or 1910? Three choices here. Caesar. I'm going to go with 1890. That is correct. At West Point, Navy took it 24 to nothing, and you take both points here in matchup number two. Congratulations. Oh, it's time now for matchup number three of this initial round. We're going to have Will K going head to head with Merrill. Be on the ready at your keyboards. Hit me in the chat box. Question number one. When you think of a Navy SEAL, what does SEAL stand for? Hit me in the chat box if you're ready to answer. What does SEAL in Navy SEAL stand for? Will. Sea, air, and land. That is correct. First point of matchup number three. Now time for question two. Army defeated Navy in 2016. That snapped the longest one-sided win streak in the series held by Navy. Prior to 2016, when was Army's last win in the series? Give me a year. It was a long win streak. It stretched back over a decade. Will, what do you got? I'm going to say, John, it was in the year 2000. Incorrect. Very close, but not there. Merrill, you could take the point if you can give me the year. Okay, I will say 1999. Oh, the wrong direction. It was 2001. <laughs> oh, no. You were both right there. Navy had won 14 consecutive matchups. The longest stretch of dominance in the series. Army has taken four of six entering this year. Navy, two of the last three. So our man, Matt, is going to tabulate the scores. We're going to let you know where everyone stands. It is three to two Navy <laughs> through round one. So we are still ultra close. We are now entering round two. And remember, with round two, each question is worth two points. So you can make up ground or you can gain more ground. And... We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to start up this time around with William G against Caesar. So be at the ready. This is round two, each question worth two points. Question number one. One United States president received the Medal of Honor. Who was it? Caesar, what's your guess? I'm, I'm Eisenhower. I don't know. Unfortunately, no. William, what do you got? I'm going to say Jimmy Carter. It was Theodore Roosevelt, military valor in the Spanish-American War. Teddy Roosevelt famously also said that football was the closest proximity within everyday life to what could happen on a battlefield with moving around the individual pieces and trying to match up strategically. Big football. I second guess myself. I second Question guess myself. number two. These are good tries. I, I would encourage you, if you think you got a shot, go for it. William and Caesar, question two, how many service branches are there in the United States Armed Forces? Caesar, what do you got? Six. That is correct. Army, Navy, Air Force, the Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, and the Space Force. All right, final question of the second round, another two points on the line. You know it from TV. Do you know what it stands for? What does NCIS stand for? Caesar. Naval Criminal Investigative Services. That is correct. The top law enforcement agency of the Navy. So a couple of swipes there. That's four more points. And that brings their matchup to a close. We move on now to Will K and Merrill. You're up next. Be ready. Question number one, what is the largest United States military base? Will. What is Fort Hood, Texas? Incorrect. 
Merrill, what do you got? I have to say the Pentagon. Fort Bragg in North Carolina. But good tries, good tries. <laughs> we got another chance here at two points. This is going to round out your matchup. It's a yeah. major quote that's incredibly well known. The quote, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead, was attributed to the first admiral of the Navy. This is multiple choice. Was it A, George Dewey, B, David Farragut, or C, Chester Nimitz? Well, I'm going for a Hail Mary. Was it Admiral Nimitz? Incorrect. So, Merrill, you got a chance to take some points here. What do you got? It's going to be between David Farragut or George Dewey. Farragut. Correct. And the points are had by Merrill. Nice job. You can feel the pain on Will. That was, that was good effort, though. Good effort. <laughs> so we're going to move on now. It is time for Janess and Kawanda to have a go once more. And this is going to have some Army-Navy football feel to it. When you're talking about the service academies going head to head, hardware that's been on the line for some time is right at the forefront. The Commander in Chief's trophy. Which academy is the all time leader in the CIC race between Air Force, Army, and Navy? Jeunesse, what do you got? Sir, that's obviously West Point Military Academy. Unfortunately, incorrect. What? Kawanda, you can take the points here. Oh, gosh. Um, I was going to say, all right. Oh, I'm going to say Army. That was his guess as well. Oh, his, the incorrect. West Point is Army. Oh, dang. Okay. It, it was the Air Force. Uh, oh, Air Force was this year's winner for the trophy for a record 21st time. Actually snapped the longest oh, wow. drought in the series. Air Force hadn't won it since 2016. Navy is second with 16 CIC trophies. Army has taken the hardware nine times last in 2020. All right, the last question for you guys. Where is the headquarters of the United States Armed Forces. We've heard this place mentioned already in this competition. Where is the headquarters of the United States Armed Forces? That's the, that's the Pentagon. That is correct. The Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia. Congratulations. So we have the second round concluded. Matt, what's the, uh, the latest in the scoring? Where do we stand? entering the championship round. Navy leads nine to four. So there's some ground to be made up, but remember championship round with Navy ahead nine to four questions here will be worth five points. It's also only going to be one question per matchup. So for each of you, there's a lot on the line with each question. Be at the ready in the chat box. First to even put in a dot, we'll have a shot to answer. It'll be Will K and Merrill. You're up. The question for you in this championship round, Army and Navy have how many combined Heisman Trophy winners? Three, four, or five? Merrill. All right, I'm going to guess at this. Um, four. Incorrect. Will, we turn to you. Is it three or five? You know, I'm going to give our armed forces the uh, athletic benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to say five. That is correct. Army of Doc Blanchard, Glenn Davis, Pete Dawkins, Navy, Joe Bellino, and Roger Staubach. So that brings us to a 9-9 draw. Ah. So we have only a couple of questions left, and everything is even. That's the beauty of the championship round. All right. We are now up to Jeunesse and Kawanda. Championship round, the Marine Corps motto of Semper Fidelis was adopted as its official motto in 1883. What does it mean? A Latin phrase, what's the translation? What does Semper Fi mean? First to hit me in the chat box, Janess, what do you got? Uh, I wanna say it means something to the effect of live free. Uh, incorrect <laughs> incorrect a noble intention certainly but kawanda 
you can take these five points. What does Semper oh. Fi mean? She don't know. I, I tell you, oh, I can't believe it. I'm going to try United. That's the only thing, the first thing that came through my mind. It's it's a similar concept, but no, always faithful. Okay. Always faithful. So always there side yeah. by side with your brother or sister in arms, always a teammate, always faithful. So that leaves us even at nine. And it Why comes you gotta to be on me? Why you gotta put this pressure on me, Kay? You let me down. You're supposed to give me the buffer. You're supposed to give me the buffer. Will you supposed to be my wingman? Literally, we're in the pipe. We're in, you're in the cockpit. You know, you supposed to have the. Come on, goose. This is really working for us. <laughs> That's one of my great uh, great moments in the Army-Navy game is the prisoner exchange when those that were on the other side get a chance to rejoin their classmates. And now we have a chance to take the entire thing. It's down to Will G and Caesar. This you is going to have a paramount place. feel to it, will. okay? So Paramount Plus has a show called SEAL Team. What is the name of the unit featured on Paramount Plus's SEAL Team? And I'll, I'll give you a hint. The in the A B C, as you would use in shorthand jargon when you were spelling something out, this would be in the very beginning of the alphabet. Maybe not the first letter. Maybe not the third letter. Caesar. Dev Group B. What's that? Dev Group B. No, sir. Is it okay? <laughs> Will G, what do you got? He doesn't know it. I hope. We go for the tiebreaker. <laughs> The Alpha team. It is the Bravo team. Tiebreaker question provided by our judge. This is sudden death. The first person to type in can answer. Who is the winningest coach in Army Navy history? You'll have three choices. I like how we all step back. Coach, <laughs> Ken Niamatololo, current Sorry. Army coach, Jeff Munkin or Doc Blanchard? Janess, I saw you first. Sir, I believe that is Jeff Munchin. Incorrect. Oh. William, G. <laughs> William G, what do you got? All right, I'm going to go with the last coach that you said. That is incorrect. There's only one left. One Meryl. Left. Ken Niamatololo from Navy. That's the one. That no one there you go. So <laughs> <laughs> and Meryl gets the final one. This was a good time. Thank you so much for being part of it. I think we learned. We enjoyed. There was great trash talking. And this is an excellent kickstart to the Army-Navy week. I can't wait for the game. We thank you so much for your service. And congratulations to Navy that takes the trivia challenge Yay. here on the Paramount Veterans Network. Oh, Navy. Thank you, shipmates. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to flag on play. I love, I love you, Army guys. You guys are, this was, this was fun.